Hi there. In, uh, in this video I'm going to uh, attempt to show how uh, an antenna track can be used um, along with the mission planner to control three vehicles at the same time. Now, it's not an ideal setup, um, but it does demonstrate the, the basic capabilities. So uh, the way it works is um, I have uh, three irises, uh, new, slightly older and very old. Uh, each one has a 3DR radio and a PixHawk inside. Um, each one of these uh, 3DR radios is paired to another radio on the antenna tracker. Uh, this is an Eagle Tree or Eagle Eyes antenna tracker, um, but it's got a PixHawk on it and it's running um, antenna tracker 0.7, uh, which is not out at the time of this uh, making of this video, but it'll be out sometime soon. So uh, the PixHawk um, running antenna tracker software uh, takes the uh, Mavlink streams from these three vehicles, uh, it combines them together, and it sends them down this uh, USB cable to uh, my uh, Windows PC, which is running uh, Mission Planner. And uh, Mission Planner was extended maybe six months ago so that um, it can deal with, uh, with multiple vehicles at the same time. So um, for each vehicle, I had to go in to its, um, to its parameter list, and I had to change the sysid this map so that it was a unique number. So this is one, uh, this is two, this is three, and I set the uh, antenna tracker to be number nine. So with this setup, um, once I connect them all up, uh, they each appear on the uh, Mission Planner map, and I can use the Control X key to uh, switch between them. Uh, in terms of RC controls, I just have the one um, transmitter, uh, and then it's bound to you know, a receiver on each vehicle. So the uh, unfortunate way of, you know, um, downside of this setup is that, of course, if I start changing the flight mode on this, it will affect all three vehicles. So um, if something goes wrong and I want to take control of a vehicle, I'll actually have to use the mission planner to say, you know, change that vehicle to loiter mode and then leave the other two vehicles in guided mode. Uh, and that way I can co control just one vehicle. Anyway, so uh, the way I'm going to do this test, I've loaded up, um, I'm going to put each one of the vehicles out on the, on the grass there. Um, I'm going to uh, take off in guided mode for each one and uh, I'll just put them up into the air and then I'll switch each one into auto. It should fly, each one of them has the same mission loaded, so it should fly those uh, missions and come back home and land safely if, if all goes well. So we have our three vehicles lined up and we can see them on the uh, mission planner map here as well. Uh, the vehicles are actually all in a row, uh, but they don't appear like that, um, I guess because their GPS position is not quite, quite correct. In any case, uh, we're going to go through and we're going to set we are currently connected. If we press connect control X, we can see that we're connected to the first one. So we're just going to set his mode to guided. We might as well go through and do that for the other two as well. So here's two. We'll set his mode to guided. And then three. Set his mode to guided as well. Okay. So now we're going to go back to number one again. So he's in guided mode, we can see that. We're now going to uh, arm him. So he's armed. Then we're going to take off to two meters. Off he goes. Now we're gonna switch him into auto mode to start him on his way. So see him later. Off he goes. Now we're gonna switch on to uh, quad rotor number two. We're going to, he's in guided mode, so we're going to arm him as well. So he's armed. We're going to then take off to two meters. Off he goes. Then so we're going to set him into auto mode as well. There he goes as well. Now control X, and so we're going to pick quad order number three. We're going to arm him. He is armed. Now we're going to take off with him as well to two meters. Off he goes. And we're going to set him into auto mode as well. So now all of them are flying. And now I'll come over here at the camera to give people a view of what's going on. So there's our two vehicles up in the air. The one on the left is the one, the first vehicle that took off. And you can see each one of them is doing a little circuit. So he's already coming down now. On the far side, over there, a bit difficult to see, you can see that is quad rotor number two. 
and he is also coming home. Oops, he is like that. It's a bit hard to see. If we look down a bit across over there, we can see number three. So here is number one has successfully made it home. Here comes number two. Descending, descending, a bit hard to see, I'm sure, because I can't see any trees. He has come home. Oh, and he has been beaten now by... Well, number three has arrived. They've landed quite close together, but they're not touching. Okay, so there we go. We managed to get three vehicles taking off and flying a mission and uh, actually never touched the RC the whole time.